What's going on guys? The Cake Productions here, more like Keemstar. <laughs> so, I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be t telling you guys like a little story that happens in school. So here we go. You know those kids who like, you know, disobey the rules and stuff at school, you know, well, yeah, kind of. So, uh, we were at Christmas, it, you know, it was kind of like Christmas time. Um, you know, it was kind of, it was, it was close to, very close to Christmas at school. Like, uh, 16? Like, like the 16th. And we were still at school, I think. And it was the very last day before two, uh, two week break. And, I mean, well, we, we were excited, of course. But, the only thing, uh, that I wasn't excited is because, well, I mean, I probably have to do this, like, some church summer camp or something. I mean, winter camp. So, I mean, you know, uh, and we were, at, were for recess, and, and these kids, well, no, actually, we weren't out of recess, and we were at lunchtime. I, of course, was being goofy and silly and stuff, and, um, there was this kid who walked over to our, you know, thing. He was talking to Carson, my friend, and uh, I asked this kid, hey, what the heck are you doing here, mate? And he was like, um, and he, he was saying I think he was nervous because, like, I'm, I mean, I'm really tall. Like, I'm five foot something for, and I'm age 10. So, I mean, it's kind of unbelievable, really. But, I mean, I mean, I've had webcams before, you know, me dancing in the Animal Jam video. You guys remember that? But, you know, to stick to the point, Vinny. So, okay. Now, here's the thing. Just, okay. So, here's the thing. This kid, this white, this pale cheesecake dude walks over and he's hanging out with Carson. And, I mean, I, I, like, I, it was kind of weird. It was, like, a weird sight because, like, I've never seen this dude before. And, you know, I was kind of nervous, like, is he a bully maybe or, you know, something like that. I'm, I'm pretty a bully by myself in, like, actual real life. Well, not really, but, you know. So, uh, he, this kid walks over and... Um, I was like, and I tried to, you know, you know, just joke around, you know, try and roast him or something for him to kind of, like, leave the table because I, I, I really don't like people, like, walking over towards the table and just talk, talking about, like, random crap to people. So I was like, uh, me, this is, like, the wrong table. And he's like, well, I could sit where the he wherever the hell I want. It was like, and I, I was like, okay, this kid's definitely, like, a, a kind of like a roast person. So, uh, and I was like, hey, bro, you just met us. And, um, like, he was going hard, really pretty hard, you know? And, I mean, like, he wasn't joking around and stuff. Like, seriously, he was not joking. So, what, um, so what he was, you know, <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. Okay. So he, I mean, like, I asked him, like, three times to leave the table, and, you know, he didn't accept it. And this dude was going really hard, you know, he was trying to be the tough guy around. So I had to step in, of course. Uh, and my friends were, I mean, they knew I was going to do something of, of freaking hilarious. So they, you know, they made popcorn with their lunch bags and start eating their own selves and trying to die. Or, I, I don't know. So, um, this, this dude was like, and I asked him if he wanted to have like a roast battle or you know, you know, like something like that, and he, and, and he agreed. So he gone first, and he actually called me like, "You're a gay, you know, you know, mental person," <laughs> and like, I, I mean, I, I I'm actually pretty mean, I think. So and I, I wasn't really impressed, but this dude was okay, and like he was a pretty good guy like a pretty you know good person like he wasn't like the wimp and stuff but so I was like, oh you're a poop head i mean that's just stupid so and when he was done with his little you know roast thing i had to go again so i had to go and i really don't know what to say i mean so i said you look like eminem son retard edition and i mean that was i thought that was pretty good and you know how some kids, like, every time you call them, like, a celebrity name or something, they always say, oh, my gosh, I'm a celebrity son. And I said he looks like it. So this kid was pretty stupid. So um, I said, hey, kid. I s so when he said, oh, my gosh, I'm a celebrity son. <laughs> I, I said, mate, 
you're a, um, uh, you look like him. You look, you don't, you're not his son, you look like it. So, you know, I mean, pretty dumb. <laughs> so, I mean, this kid was pretty dumb. Um, and, like, he started, like, oh, my gosh, that's a compliment, you know, stuff like that. And, um, I said, I said, you look like it. You look like Eminem Sun Retard Edition. And he actually did. Like, I mean, I, I mean, like, he would notice that already if he looked in the mirror and stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, that would kind of be pretty obvious, really. So, and, um, and when he actually realized what I was trying to say, oh, boy, he got mad. And I think it was pretty PO'd. Like, like I think it was pretty PO'd. So, he, he started, like... And he, um, and he was like, uh, why did you just say to me, mate? Like, oh, you want to take this down? You know, you don't want to, you, you want to have one v one? I was like, I I'm not going to fight you. I fight with words. Well, not really, but, you know, you get the point. And this, this dude really got mad. So he standed up, get on the table, and smacked me in the face. <laughs> and I got pissed off, really. Like, I actually did, pretty much. So I, I got up again. I, I I literally spinned around. I came over to this kid's table and he's like, WT like WTH did you just do to me? And he's like, Oh yeah, you know what I just did. Uh-huh. Bum bum bang in. And I mean I wouldn't really call that roasting, but I mean, you know, he smacked me in the face and I got really mad. So I went over to to his table. I, I I stand him up and I and I literally kicked him. And this dude like uh he tried to stand up but he didn't and he actually almost fell in the trash can. And I think he like kind of cracked the trash can like and put enough like you know thing into it and the trash can like literally just broke into pieces. Like I mean I think he kind of like fell on it and then it kind of broke. Trash got all over his back. And, like, some kid had, like, yogurt and stuff, and it exploded all over his back. And, like, there was, it was really sticky and stuff. And, I mean, I, I was actually kind of nervous. Like, I actually thought that, um, I, I was going to be dead. Like, some teacher would come over and, you know, start, like, doing this stuff. But, I mean, no one did. And, I mean, like, I, th I would think that someone would come over at least and, like, you know, punish me for, like, what I did. But, I mean, it wasn't really a loud noise, so I don't really think anybody heard. And then, uh, a teacher came over, like, the janitor and said, What the heck? I told I thought I told you to sit down, like, a million times. So, I guess this kid, like, was standing up and stuff. And he's like, and the kid's like, No! This kid pushed me! And he looks over, and he said, Is this true? He's, and I said, No! He's just trying to blame me! He, he's, he's the one who, like, um, trying to fight with me and stuff, and, you know, stuff like that. So... He, he, he pulls him up, and he literally brings him to the office, and I felt, like, really kind of sad for it, like, it, I felt pretty guilty, but, I mean, I feel, in my mind, it was, like, the right thing to do, so, yeah, and, well, when we were done with school, I think this kid was done with the office and stuff, and he was holding a pink thing in his arm, in his, I mean, his, um, hand, and, uh, he tries to find me so he could give me a pretty good beating. And I, I stayed pretty quiet uh, for the rest of the day. Like, pretty much. Um, until, like, school was over. And it pretty much was. So, when we were, um, you know, because it was a half day of school, you know. So, okay. Now, when, um, uh, I need to get this kill. Ah, shoot. Okay, so when uh, when, I, when I was home, he didn't find me. I, I stayed buried. So I literally rushed over to my car as fast as I could. This dude t takes the car bus too, and he sees me, and he said, and he yells out, "Hey, come back here, you little penis!" And I I, I was getting scared. I ran faster. I accidentally tripped over like a rock or something, and it scraped my arm really bad. And I was freaking out because, like, I mean, I had a literally pretty bad bleeding arm. And, like, what was I supposed to do in this situation and stuff? A, a, a psycho, a freaking fat psycho kid was running after me. And, like, 